Oh! Sorry. I uh, didn't see you there. I was just playing with the new update and that stupid video. Uh, I guess I'll get to that Minecraft video I said I was going to do. I'll do that now. Hello everyone and welcome to another Station Tech video. I think this is 10 now. Uh, I guess this isn't really Station Tech because it's kind of optional. Um, but it's a lot of people have re been requesting it. So this is the Admiration Garden and this is how it works. I've got a switch here to get in the door. And a switch here to go over to this other door. Whoops. And you hear when I come out of that door, the music plays. And you can also see the redstone starts lighting up in sequence. Now this is made just using an RS... Oh, and by the way, when I walk out here, it will stop. So it's using an RS NOR latch. All the electronics is up here. And, and behind. So this is actually the music right here, what you can see here. And it just goes in sequence all the way uh, around the side. Uh, just using any old music note stuff that you have and the electronics is just here and this is an RS NOR latch I believe uh, one input is attached to that and just behind here I guess I'll bust it down just behind here is the button for stopping it so when the signal comes in it will turn this on uh, which will make this stop and this one over here this one starts it. Okay, so I guess I'll go into my other world and show you how to build it. Here we are at the crap station entrance uh, because this is the crap station. Uh, and I was actually thinking about of a way to make the RS NOR latch and the music blocks and stuff be actually useful instead of just putting it on like some novelty garden or whatever. So what I'm going to do here the idea is that I walk across there's going to be two rows of blocks let me get these out here just to show you we're going to have two rows of blocks like this and when I walk in to the station the music is going to start playing and when I walk out of the station the music will stop playing and that will be using that uh, RS NOR switch like I showed you so let me just dig out a big area underneath all this to show you how it works uh, and how to build it. So I'll probably fast forward this and overlay it with some nice music to listen to. Hope you enjoy. Okay, now that we have a nice big room, uh, I'm going to put some blocks here. That's going to designate where the buttons are, uh, which I learned was a very good way of, you know, making sure that you knew where the buttons are. And we're just going to line the redstone here. So whenever you step on a button, these two redstones will turn on. Well, one in sequence. And what we need to do is build an RS NOR latch. So there's a couple of ways to do these. Um, just think of a way to put it in here. Uh, organization at its best. I think we'll put one of the blocks here and one of the blocks there. Because you need to be able to put an input into both of those. Actually, maybe I'll do it the other way. Oops. And it looks like I'm going to need more room. Yay! Okay, that should do it. Oh, and that was my phone. Okay, um, now an RS NOR latch. Just 
got to make sure I don't uh, accidentally run into it. You have two inputs, uh, one on each side. Like that. So you've got two inputs, one on both sides. Uh, now you put a torch. And we put one here. One here. Link them up. So what's going to happen now, uh, let's just for the sake of convenience put a button here and one here just so you can see how it changes. So when we step on the first switch it's going to have it like this and it stays that way no matter how many times we step on it. When we step on this one it's going to go to this one and will stay on that regardless. So if you imagine there's a block, a note block right next to it, when you step on the one to go out, it will be off. When you step on to go in, it goes on. Ding. Now if you hook this up to a clock with uh, a bunch of note blocks, then you're going to be able to play a song or something. So let's do that. And I guess we could just go like that too. Save a bit of room. Okay. Okay, <laughs> now we have to build the music circuit. Now you can do a music circuit a number of different ways. Uh, this is the output here, so this is the one that will be put into the music circuit. And you want to make sure that, uh, that this is off, and I'll show you why uh, later. So let's just check to make sure it's on the right. If it's off when it's supposed to be. So we want it to be off when we step on this switch. And because it isn't, we're going to have to run an inverter. Which is not very hard. There we go. And I'll show you why. Again, I'll, I'll show you why. Just calm down, I'll show you why. Okay. And here we're going to put a repeater. And this will be using the diode uh, capability. And here we're putting our music sequence. So we can do this a number of ways. Uh, we'll just do it the easiest. Now, as you know, the notes under the blocks changes the way the material under the note blocks changes the way it sounds. So that's got a thump and bass beat. And if there's nothing under it, like, oh, I guess I've got to place the note block first. If there's nothing under it, it sounds like a ding. I guess a, some sort of a piano. Just run it this way. Now we're putting a delayer between each note, and that's to give it some sort of a rhythm. So we've got it now six, we'll do one more. If it will fit. Yeah, it will, perfect. And then this 
runs back around. And that's what it sounds like right now. Obviously it's horrible, uh, mainly because it sounds kind of like a heartbeat. And that is because these delayers are only on one tick right now. So you right click them to put them on the longest. Ding, ding, ding. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Make them all ding. Okay, now this will continue forever uh, until we step on the block to to get out. So I already mentioned why the white blocks are there. I'm going to go up and put the pressure pressure plates down. Now they should keep going while we're on this one because this is the ones that start it and they should stop when I step on these ones. Probably after one more cycle. And I must have done it wrong. <laughs> and now let's find out why what I did wrong. And of course the reason it wasn't working is because I forgot to put uh, the redstone back. Anyway, right now it's playing. And when I go up and I step on the other one, it should stop. Yay! Now it's not going to work while I'm on here. And when I enter the amazing station, I'll get this beautiful tune signifying that I'm in here. Oh, what a beautiful sound. Obviously, you can make this do anything else. Uh, maybe I'll quickly do that now. Okay, now what I attempted here uh, was the Mario Underworld theme, and it's failed miserably. It's kind of close, except for that note over there. But anyway, the point is, when I leave, it will stop. and it will stop forever and I can just kind of creep in and it won't but if I go all the way into the station it will start and such is the power of the RS Nor latch because it remembers what you stood on last and then when you leave it'll stop now I was going to talk to you about uh, how this worked in here and if you had this on all the time, the reason this works is when I step on this switch here. Okay, so this is the off switch and that's the on switch. The reason this works is it turns this off, which turns that one on, and it puts all, uh, all of this here on it turns it all on and it just overloads a circuit well it doesn't overload it in that it won't break it but it makes it so everywhere is on and it doesn't allow any sort of cycling to happen when I step on the switch to turn it off I mean to, to start the music sorry it'll turn that off because of the way this works as a diode, the redstone signal won't travel back in here. And then when we go out to turn it off, it'll just overload the system again and prevent the cycle from happening. Uh, so that's Station Tech 10. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, uh, all of that fun stuff. If you enjoyed it, I've got a lot more videos on here. If you're a new newcomer, uh, I will be doing a lot of other stuff uh, if I get time. If you have any questions or you want me to do any other sort of videos, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to make that happen. Thanks for watching. Bye.